Hey, how are you guys doing? My name is Michael Luna. I'm here today at Jones Tech Institute in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm here today to show you the basic components and parts of an air brake system. Alright, so I built up the air pressure on this display. About 100 pounds of air pressure. Lock adjusters that will be on the front to the short wheels. You can see these moves with a pilot brake and the first brake pedal. Here's your bumpy brake valve. First time everything will move. And right here you have your, your rear brake chambers. These are separated into two different parts. You have your service brake, which will be up here, and your piggy and your piggyback brake, which will be back here. How the service brake works, it, it has a rubber seal that goes in between you so when the parking brakes when the service brakes are applied this push rod moves and that rubber the rubber part expands which compresses the spring which will apply the brakes now the picky backpack here is is held on is applied using a very high powered spring the spring in here is compressed to about 1,600 pounds of pressure. So when there's not enough air pressure in here to hold down those, hold down that spring, the, the spring moves out this way, which will basically, which will apply the brakes. And that, and this, and this spring back here is mainly used for parking brakes. So I have the parking brake push switch right here. I will push that. see the push rods move. Now this spring has been this spring has been activated and now the parking brakes are applied. These wheels will not move and this and the truck and or trailer will not go anywhere. I will now release the the uh, parking brake switch. Now your truck and trailer are free to move underneath their own power. I'd like to thank you for tuning in. My name is Michael Blino. Once again, here at Jones Technical Institute here in Jacksonville, Florida. I will see you guys next time.